Well, good Thursday afternoon, everybody. Thank you for watching right now, if that's what you are doing. Hey, dude. Just wanted to, uh, well, I wanted to make my 1800th video. 1800 videos on YouTube. How crazy is that? Thanks a lot to, what, 19,000 subscribers? Over 19,000? Anyway, as many of you know, and many people that watch, right now, my number one viewed video on YouTube, <laughs> amazingly, is still this white van from two years ago. Anyway, last week, and if you're on Facebook, you would have saw this post. Last week, this white van popped up again. It's been two years. It popped up in California, and this uh, guy, Zane Doe, and as you see, it's had over 200,000 views cop, uh, caught it. So I just want to, uh, I just want to show this a little bit here to you. you and nice and language. Big out here language. In, uh, East Vale, Limonite. Let's go see what this guy's about. Same guy that I filmed two years ago in Upper oh, Michigan. Oh, for sure. I just want everybody to see what you look like so they don't give you no money. I don't care what you are. I don't care what you are. No, 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 no. Please help. I lost my job. There's plenty of jobs around here, dude. I don't got no problem. Look familiar? Look at your kids out here. They're never going to learn. Don't touch me. Get away from me. The fuck is your problem? Your kids are never going to know how to learn how to work. All right. Anyway, let me uh, stop that there. I mean, really, does that look any familiar to any of you guys? All right. Let's jump on over to uh, my video that I filmed two years ago. And, uh, well, you tell me. Same guy? And, yeah, exactly. Romian, uh, you know what? The, I know everybody's been like, they're Mexican or they're from Please. South America. No. Please help my... And this guy had the audacity two years ago to dress like this and come to our small town, and that is, that's the same woman. Kids are a little older now. We thought she was pregnant two years ago, apparently she was, because now they have three kids. That is not working. And here we are, two years later, and they're still doing it. Anywho... We're not, uh, we're not gonna talk just totally about this. Um, again, whoa, I'm plugged in on here. I better take care of that. Yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video, and, uh, again, thank you guys for, uh, 1,800, man, 1,800 videos, but 19,000 subscribers. Oh, I didn't notice that's backwards there. Um, I've never done a question and answer before, and, uh, I highly suspect I probably won't get very many. Nice beard, love it, thank you. I can see your questions, man. You guys just uh, ask away if you wanted to know anything. I'm going to shoot this little one right here. Open my box right here I just got today. Many of you uh, may not know, well, I know my buddy in uh, New York is going to be happy to see this box because, uh, well, what's in my box, I'm sure uh, you'd like to know that too. Somewhere around here I have a knife. Here we go. Hopefully YouTube won't uh, go crazy on me because I have a knife. How long did it take to get that beard? I don't know. If you watch my videos uh, throughout the last year, you'll see uh, it was just a goatee. What, a last tribute ride? Oh, yeah, speaking of that. This Saturday, Iron Mountain Michigan. Ooh, I almost got myself that live video. That would have been great. Uh, this Saturday, Iron Mountain Michigan. We are doing the 14th annual Veteran Tribute Ride that I've been doing for about the last eight or nine years. Um, check out my playlist. I got a playlist on YouTube here of uh, all the tribute rides that I've done. And uh, this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, hopefully we'll see about 300 Harleys, bikes, whatever you're driving. It's going to be pretty, pretty cool. And uh, again, I will be... Uh, I will be doing a uh, live video, I think, as well. So, can we see your cruiser? My cruiser? Well, my vehicle? I don't know. Yeah. Anybody want to guess what this is yet? 
Here, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Anybody know what these are yet? No. Anyway, I make uh, I make candy. I've been uh, kind of tinkering in the candy making a little bit. One of my buddies uh, in New York, uh, another photographer. Uh, oh, I got him hooked, and uh, I'll make him some candy and send it to him. I think he'll like it. Watermelon, strawberry. I think a root beer, grape, raspberry, and then I got a whole bunch of uh, cotton candy, but uh, awesome. We'll get started on that probably after Memorial Day. So I got the weekend ride and then uh, going down to see the family this weekend and uh, yeah, that's about it. 1800, 1800 videos. Just checking here to see what you guys are uh, posting. Do I work? You know, I'm a full-time YouTuber. Um, a lot of people probably couldn't do it on 18,000, uh, 19,000 subscribers, but uh, I have for the last two years, and so far it's been pretty successful. My wife does work, as many of you have seen in that one video. She's worked at the same place for close to 20 years, and uh, what can I say? She's that type of woman that wants to take care of me a little bit more than I've taken care of her, and I'm not going to argue with that. I just noticed my picture shows up really good uh, behind me here. Um, that is a print from uh, Clarence Thibodeau, who has uh, passed away here in the last few years. Um, very famous artist and uh, World War II veteran. Oh, I want candy. Do you have Twitter? Can you send me a postcard? I do I'm not going to send you free candy, and right now I'm not selling it, so uh, I don't know how we could do that. Um, under Michigan law, um, I can sell this candy, but I have to see you face to face, and I have to actually hand you the candy in trade of the money. That's the only way I can do it as a uh, whatever the cottage law or whatever that is here in Michigan. But uh, sorry, buddy, can't do that for you. I think Spyro, I don't know where you're from, but uh, I imagine the bill would be a lot, huh? So yeah, nothing really much more than that. Just happy to see the 18,000, uh, uh, 18, I wish, 1,800 uh, videos. Yeah, I'd like, da, 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 da. who was asking about my cruiser? I'm guessing you're meeting my car, my van. I don't, Britain, that's where I thought you were, Spyro Orns. Man, your name is so familiar. Are you, are you the ski jumper or are you just somebody else? I don't remember. I got a ski jumper that, uh, watches me on YouTube, and I kind of watch his videos too, but I'm not too uh, catchy on all the names. Hoping for more rain. We got rain this morning. Believe it or not, that is our first good heavy downpour after the snow melt. Um, we're in an extreme bad fire danger going on. Just some guy from the internet spiral. Awesome. Whatever happened to the fire, the garage went, and the house was last minute. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, Barry, I I can't tell you exactly what happened there other than uh, that fire was raging by the time I got there. And uh, if you guys watched that video, when I got on scene, from what I understand, the fire department had just got on scene as well, and it was well involved. They were lucky to save the house on the one side. I don't know. I, I'm not going to second uh, a guess or judge the firemen. They, they do a tremendous job, and... They keep our neighborhood safe. I mean, what more is there to say about it? I just can't believe how good that looks behind me. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to make a video about that guy. Uh, hell, maybe we'll talk about it right now. You know what? Hold on one second. Why not? I mean, this guy, let me tell you. I drove taxi in Iron Mountain years and years and years ago. And working uh, with so many veterans and seeing so many... Uh, of veterans from this area. Um, well, let me read this real fast. Yet, have you ever played it? All right. So working so many many veterans in this area, I, I come across this guy one day, and uh, he was at the gas station, and he was talking about somebody chasing him and just wanted a ride. So I let him jump in the cab. Old guy, probably in his seventies, and uh, we were riding around. He was telling me about Jeremy and how Jeremy was chasing him and. It wasn't that night that I learned who Jeremy was. It was probably about a week or so after, but I learned that Jeremy was a spirit, and he believed that the spirit was chasing him around. 
And of course, you know, I thought, well, maybe it's just old Cook and he had some wild stories and he was no Cook. I started doing some research on his name and uh, found out he was a World War II veteran with 11 Bronze Star Battles under his belt. And not only that, when I started doing research on him, I found out he was an artist. And uh, I started asking about it and talking with Clarence about this. And uh, he said, yeah, he was an artist. Uh, he was the only artist, I think, for the East Fleet at that time. And he also was a self-proclaimed psychic. He says that he saw things and protect, protected the fleet um, a couple of times. That was documented. And... Uh, pretty crazy guy but anyway getting out of my story I found these on eBay and uh, before he died I'll show you this original packaging a fighting ship by Clarence T. Thibodeau um, I may be backwards I don't know if it is and I apologize but these are some of the prints that, uh, that he's done and every print that you're looking at right now the original is in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington DC and I don't know if you've noticed any of these but there's a signature right here because before he passed away I asked him, I asked Clarence if he'd sign these for me and he did very very cool man I'm gonna read your comments in a minute but I'm gonna finish my story first these are all just war battles and stuff that he did, but he also he also drew that back there. And Clarence took me to a little storage unit over in Kingsford, right near where I live. And uh, inside he had a stack of those, a thousand of them. And the outsides were all messed up and we plucked through the middle and we, we found one out that was really, really nice. And he signed that one too. And I had it framed. God, I paid a hundred bucks to have that thing framed. I've never paid that much to have anything framed. But it's well protected, and uh, yeah, he died a few months after that. But uh, that painting, uh, that painting was in Kingsford, and it was it was the size of a wall, and they they restored it, and uh, it was on display in Lake Wells, Florida, I think last year, and. Uh, yeah, quite the memory of the guy, but to think this veteran spent his last years hiding here in Iron Mountain, living in a house trailer. And uh, those of you that have been around me and have known me for quite some time, you may remember him. Uh, he was snowed in quite a few years ago, right after I found him. And uh, he hadn't left his trailer for three or four days, and we went in and shoveled him out and pretty much saved him from his own house. But uh, he was happy, drinking his tea, eating his food, not a worry in the world. But uh, man, Clarence, rest in peace, buddy. I'll never forget that guy. Do you have any comics or action action figures? <laughs> oh God, I can't believe you just asked that. I uh, can't wait till someone someone got hit. Laugh about it. That's really. Have you ever played Alter Beast? I am guessing that's a game. I don't play games. My kids do. Adam, hey man, love your videos. Can't wait till someone to got hit. It's, I'm not sure what that is. Thank you. Yeah, comics. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen thousand a good month. How much does you? Pay? You know what? I, I don't really talk about how much YouTube pays. It pays my rent. It pays other bills. Sometimes it's better than others. I actually don't make as much money on YouTube as I do off of viral video companies like Viral Hog, uh, Jukin. Rumble.com. Um, there's quite a few. Uh, you know what? Many of you YouTubers, and if you have a YouTube channel and you're under a thousand subscribers and you're like, I can't make money, yeah, you can. If you have good enough content and you think, I, I, I mean, really, if you have really good content of something crazy going on, some cr newsy, uh, a news story, or, or something happening near you, or, or a puppy licking you in the face, I don't know. Um, these companies like Viral Hog and, and Juke and, and stuff like that, they will buy your content. Now, they might not pay great. They might only offer you 100 bucks or something right on the spot for that video, and you might see your video all over the Internet. Um, that's a chance you take. I've actually got um, 
God, my Leaf video has had over 400 million hits on, on Facebook. 400 million hits on Facebook. No credit here. I didn't get paid for any of that. 400 million hits on Facebook. Think about that. But uh, that's because of Viral Hog and me signing over my rights to let them sell my content off of YouTube. So that's just one of the many ways that uh, I do make money. Besides cutting grass and doing yard work and stuff like that, what's the craziest thing I've ever done? Skydiving. At 18 years old, my buddy, a uh, real best friend of mine, and my uncle, uh, we were talking about skydiving all summer, and they were like, let's do it. And I was like, hey, let's do it. And we all signed up and came today to do it. And my uncle and my buddy were like, oh, my head hurts. We're all hungover for the night. Whatever. I went and I did it by, mis by myself. And I remember when I came back and I showed them my first jump certificate, showing them I did it by myself. Yeah, I did it seven times. Um, that was before children. Now that I have two and they're almost out of high school, I want to jump again. But I want to jump from uh, way up. I, I, I did uh, tandem line jumps where you jump out of the airplane. And as soon as you jump out, a rope pulls out your parachute from behind you. But you float down about 5,000 feet. But I'd like to go up and do an actual skydive out of an airplane. A couple more years. A couple more years. Otherwise, I don't know what. Driving fast in a car? Not recommended. I've done it. I'm surprised I'm not dead or uh, in jail or worse, whatever. But uh, that, that was a fun experience, you know. If you have a fast car and you're in a well-protected area or... Maybe I better just shut up now. I probably should talk about that. I don't know. This summer, I plan on doing a lot of tours of the UP. Um, I want to try to get into phobias. I'm afraid of heights. Not afraid to tell you that. I'm afraid of heights. And you're probably thinking right now, wait a minute, you just told me that you skydived. That was one of the reasons I skydived. That was the skydived. I, when I skydived, I could not get on a ladder without my knees shaking so bad that the ladder would fall. I, I mean, I, seriously, I had that, that bad of fear. After skydiving, I was able to climb a ladder and change a light bulb without uh, holding on. And now I can go over to the edge of anything and look over the edge. Not anything, but <laughs> within reason. I, I still don't like heights. Some of the videos watching on YouTube, I, heights, I, I don't like it. But uh, phobia, yeah. Heights. Spiders? Nah, not so much. You know, if you research uh, spiders, uh, a few years ago in a place where I lived, we were messing with a Ouija board, probably got some bad spirits, if you believe in that. And uh, one day we woke up and there were spiders all over my kids' room, and I did freak out. We freaked out. We got rid of them and we sprayed and did all this stuff, but we researched it, and spiders actually protect children from bad spirits, if you believe in that. But then again, I filmed the ghost ship, so, you know, whatever you believe in. If you see me touching the screen, it's because uh, I got to catch up on uh, what you guys are posting. Railroads. I live next to a track here. I don't know what grade it is, and I don't know a lot about railroading, but I love trains. I love the horn. The horn. I love the horns when they come by. They all sound different. They all have a, a sound to them that I enjoy listening to and watching as go by. They are limited to, what, 10 miles an hour on this track just because of the condition. I know they're improving it. They're making it better. They're making it safer. But for now, that's as fast as they go. And sometimes I like to go out and catch them in other places going faster. But there's another one for you. People ask me, why do you, why do you film trains? What's so cool about a train? My dad taught me a long time ago that if you ever found, even now, if you found a dollar laying on the ground, would you pick it up? I'm sure right now most of you are going, well, heck, yeah, I'd pick up a quarter or a dime or even a penny if I saw it laying on the ground, right? So if you knew that you could film a train going by and others might want to watch trains on YouTube and you could make maybe five cents to a dollar in a year, would you pick it up? That's why I film trains. That's why I film everything. Content. Content is about it is it? Oh, what it is. Do you do more panhandler people to catch them? You know what? Last year, a year before that, I, I, we live in a very rural community of Dickinson County in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We're on a main highway going through, and in the last couple of years, we've noticed panhandlers, and 
watching them and seeing them, I've noticed they're not local. They don't live here. Many times they drive to our, our town, get out of the car with their, I'm out of gas, um, I'm out of a job, I'm out, whatever it is, and it's just a scam. That's all it is. Nobody actually lives here. This this winter when I found that, that old man out there, and he was from town, and he was crying over a $5 bill donation that he got, and I gave a $100 bill to, and uh, hooked him up with some old friends that he didn't know about, couldn't remember, and, uh, and were lost. You know, that was that was pretty touching, but I rarely find anybody that's truly, truly in need because I really feel that if I found a panhandler in need, that I could help them via YouTube, via my Facebook page, but I have very rare to find somebody actually in need that is not scamming like this. And, and again, if you're just now joining me and you're just like, whoa, what is this about panhandling? Um, at the beginning of this video, and you'll have to watch it again, um, the white van, my number one viewed video, it's got like 3.3 million hits, and it's still going strong. Um, they were spotted in California just last week, same people. Um, you can watch the video on YouTube, I will make sure I include that link below this one, so you can go compare that video to my video two years ago, and see that they added somebody onto their family, so... I just cannot stand people who uh, who do this crap. Can your life sound too good to be true? <laughs> right. Yeah, I'd be rude, so I have to think that. No, I don't know. My life ain't too good. I don't know. Do what I can. Enjoy it. One of my uh, um, when I was working and I was doing a lot of videos, I always talked about it. I always talked about you know. If you're gonna do a job, do something you love. Do something that you want to do every day. Do something that you enjoy getting up in the morning, knowing what you're going to do during the day is something, you know what I mean? Like, these people that go in and you see them on Facebook, they're your friends, they're your family, they're people you know that just gripe and bitch about where they work, how much they make, and this and that. I just don't understand that. If you don't like it, change your life. These people that think that they can just crawl across America to local places where they know Americans are spending our hard-earned hard cash and hold up signs thinking, I'm going to scam the... And, you know, and that's what it is. They're scamming people because, sure, you have a big heart and you want to help out this poor family that have kids and nobody wants to be on the street with kids. But have they been doing this for the last two years? Yep. Has he been unable to work the last two years? No, I don't think so. There's no reason. There's no reason to be holding a sign and doing all that stuff. But anyway. Do appreciate you guys again uh, joining me. Again, hey, if you're in the Iron Mountain area, you ride a Harley or a bike or whatever you, whatever you ride, uh, Saturday morning, start gathering at 8 o'clock, um, Riverside Auto, it's up on the north side of town, and uh, 20 bucks a piece, we'll be riding to the VA hospital, police escort, um, after that we'll be riding uh, to Dunbar, Wisconsin, um, to a veteran park, and uh, I don't know the route, normally I know the route, but I know that last few years... There is a legitimate safety factor in telling people the route we're taking for obvious reasons. And, oh, you're going to love this statement, um, you know, because of the time we're in. Yeah. No, I mean, it's just, I don't know if that's what it is. But I just, I don't have a route. So, wherever you see us or hear us, I guess that's where you're going to find us. But, uh, 1,800 videos. Again, appreciate all you guys uh, tuning in and uh, watching my channels. I got a bunch of different playlists. Check them out. Um, because I do so many videos, I try to uh, I try to uh, um, make playlists just to make it easier. Um, oh, eBay. Okay, you know what? You asked me about comics. <coughs> in 2008, when Obama was running for election, I bet. Many probably know this. 
He, uh, he wound up on many comic books. His face did his image. And for me, being a historical value and comic books, and being that he was the first black president, and the fact that he was one of the first presidents to be posted onto a comic book is, uh, I got it. Spider-Man was his number one one. Here's another crazy story for you anyway. So he got started putting on these comic books and uh, Spider-Man came out with this edition and it was a uh, cover B, you know, and I learned a lot about comic books. They don't always, they don't always have that one cover. Sometimes they have two covers or three covers and well this, this edition had seven covers. The first cover was just on the cheap side, you know, probably at the highest part of it, probably got to 25 bucks. The second cover that had Obama standing next to Spider-Man, and you might remember this one, it's blue in the background. They were on sale for $3.99 at any, any place you buy a comic book, $3.99. I was pretty big in eBay at the time, and uh, I noticed that that item got really hot really fast all across the country. And it dawned on me that being where I lived, and all mostly Republicans, not many Democrats, not many people like Obama, those comic books just kind of sat on our shelves here. And I found it, it just one day, like it was like a Thursday. I, I found that comic book on eBay selling for $75 a piece. I bought had a stroke. And you better believe I ran down to my area Walmart here and it was like 11 o'clock at night. And uh, I found it was, it was either 7 or 11 copies sitting there and I snatched every single one and I was standing at the cashier shaking. And I almost couldn't give them to her. She finally scanned them through, and I bought them for what three dollars and ninety nine cents a piece. And I know I sold those for at least a hundred bucks a piece. And that's about all I'm going to say about that. Because again, I don't want to really talk about numbers. But if you really want to know numbers, um, it was right around the time that I took a vacation in two thousand eight, and I took my wife to Jamaica. We had a really good time. And when we get when we got back, that's when uh, well, that's when I found out about this comic book thing. I took her back three weeks later. We'll just let it go there. Those were the good times, man. I wish I'd have invested that money. Have you ever tried to run for mayor? No, no, not politician material. I'm too honest, and people do not want people who are honest. I think that's why I've made it as far as I have on Facebook. Because I am honest, I've been sued twice for things I have said or posted on Facebook or been part of. Uh, both times I got out of the lawsuit. Uh, one time, uh, I'm not going to get into them, but one time the uh, uh, person I had talked about uh, was arrested for what I talked about and they dropped that case. And another time I had filmed a video and that wound up in court. And uh, they dropped me out of the case because I shouldn't be prosecuted just because I filmed something. So part of that First Amendment right, part of my constitutional rights and uh, free speech and stuff like that. Everything uh, people have to uh, talk about, we all have the same. So, All right, guys, I think I'm going to cut her off there. I just wanted to, uh, I kept thinking to myself, what am I going to do? 1,800 videos. I mean, what, what, what do I... Do I make it special? Do I um, do I find a subject to go, you know, post about, or what exactly do I do? So, no, no, uh, no big plans. Like I said, other than checking out the UP this this uh, summer, doing some live streams when I can. Saturday, I'll be. I haven't decided if I'm going to live stream YouTube or live stream Facebook. I might do a variety of all. I just don't know. So uh, if you're watching me on YouTube right now and uh, you're not on Facebook, I guess get on Facebook, subscribe to that, like that page. And uh, if you're not on Facebook, I'm not really sure what to tell you. I'm glad you're subscribed here and uh, I guess watch out for my videos then because I will be posting a lot. So hoping for rain. Like I said, that was our first rain this morning and uh, we haven't had morels here yet. 
we're hoping this first rain pops the morels out of the ground so we can at least do a little mushroom hunting so I can make some mushroom videos and then the mushroom hunt is on for the entire summer. Be making a lot of videos there, foraging through the woods for plants we can eat and trying to teach you what I can about things I know. But anyway, I guess I'll sign off there guys. Again, thanks a lot to the 19,000 subscribers. And uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that button. Make sure you hit that little bell notification so you know when I go live like this or when I post new videos. And uh, yeah, hit me up on my other place. Watch my Instagram account. Um, I don't know if I posted it below or not, but uh, search my name. You'll find me. And uh, again, thanks a lot for uh, joining me. And uh, Spyro, what, Britain you said or wherever that was? over uh, Overseas, dude, that's that's sweet. Uh, uh, you're always on. We're, it's got to be, what, nighttime right, right now where you are. I've got to... I got a friend in uh, Norway, and I know she's like six hours off, because sometimes when I go to bed, she'll post me good morning, and, and that'll be it, but uh, yeah, what can I say? It's people like you that people uh, that keep people ma like me going, so uh, have a great day, everybody, and like I always say, don't sit on your couch and watch my videos. Get out and explore. Post your own videos. I love watching other videos on uh, YouTube and uh Ruben, Los Angeles, California. Thanks, buddy. Um, not a place I'd like to go or visit, but uh, it's awesome to see you watching from there. So, You guys have a great afternoon. Watch out for the tribute ride coming this weekend, doing some live shots. And, uh, hey, make sure you get out there and thank a veteran. If it wasn't for the veterans in this country, we wouldn't have a country. So, if you're a veteran, thank you so much for your service. God bless, and welcome home. Thank you.